Hello, this is Joe Jasper, and this video is intended for Topaz Studio users who want to use the Orton effect uh, in Topaz Studio. So uh, the Orton effect adds a glowing, uh, dreamy look, a softer look to parts of your um, image, usually used in landscape. It can be used elsewhere. I'm starting here in Lightroom, but I'm going to take this image into Topaz Studio. Uh, I did make some initial adjustments here in Lightroom, but you can do them in Topaz Studio. I do a lot of my editing uh, straight in Topaz Studio, but my usual workflow does start in Lightroom. So here we are opening the image and uh, we'll go up into the left effects panel where uh, we have to type in a search term for Orton O-R-T-O-N, and you'll see there's a number of uh, effects already in there. Uh, one that I uh, find pretty close to what I like is the Orton Glow Detail, and that does a pretty good job. But it's using radiance uh, as well as some precision contrast to get the effect instead of the usual way in which uh, we produce radiance in uh, Photoshop. So for, for an easy way to do it, I would use this uh, Orton Glow Detailed and it, it's uh, certainly a quick way to do it. You can add a mask and take it out of places in your image you don't want. In mine, uh, the Orton by Jasper, uh, we get two image layers that are created and within those image layers uh, we have the ability to uh, carry over uh, I had I, I decided to duplicate the the image first so I could preserve the original for before and afters for you here but anyway uh, add the Orton effect and uh, you get two image layers that are empty until you drag an image onto them in the first there's a brightness contrast control that uh, increases brightness and contrast uh, and adds a blur. And so once we uh, bring it over you can see that uh, what was the dull foreground is already brighter but we can bring up the uh, opacity of that effect and you can see it's getting brighter and softer as we do that. So we could add a mask to this and uh, use a black brush to take out the building that we want sharp perhaps or uh, we just layer over a, a second layer as I do and uh, bring the uh, original image again over this and uh, the second image uh, here I'm showing the increase in brightness, increase in contrast, and if you want you can bring up the saturation a little bit too. Give even more pow. Uh, so then we go down to the second image layer and again, again drag over the original and for this one the uh, brightness contrast control I tend to set darker a little bit and uh, I don't touch the other controls but what I do use here is a mask to bring back in that Orton effect that soft glowy effect uh, that's brighter and uh, so we click on the mask and then we'll use a black brush to or dark brush uh, to bring back in Orton effect where we want, but perhaps in the sky uh, we want it less, and on the building we want no Orton effect to preserve the details. So we'll get a brush and uh, we'll start out I think with a pretty hard large brush and brush in that foreground and you'll see that voila, here is the bright uh, softer grasses than we started with. 
And in other areas, we might want to have a softer amount of, of that Orton effect. So we'll use a light gray brush. Uh, and you can see, because it's edge aware, it's leaving the building alone. But if I really want to make sure, I set it to white and use a, a smaller brush that's edge aware and make sure that the building has no art and effect on it, uh, as that's my desire. Uh, some people want a little bit of it, but I like the detail. And then in the sky, uh, I don't want to get rid of the nice detail I've already brought back into the sky. So I'm going to use just a very, very light gray on my mask to uh, soften the sky a little bit. So there's the before with kind of a dull uh, and sharp uh, foreground. And there's the after with a nice glowing, uh, dreamy, brighter, uh, softer foreground. So that's how we do Orton effect in Topaz Studio uh, using Orton by Jasper. And you can also take these image layers and adjust the opacity up or down uh, depending on your personal taste. Um, you can adjust your mask if you want it to uh, be soft in some areas and darker in others. Uh, here trying to bring in some more of the detail. Uh, a dark gray, uh, a dark, uh, excuse me, a light gray brush is too much uh, being brought back in. So just kind of being gentle with it using a darker gray brush brings back in some of the detail, blending it with the much lighter it's all up to you. And that's how we do it. There's the original and there's the final. So try it out. Uh, let me know what you think.